Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm here to share with you a Halloween layout. I used some sequins to adorn my Halloween layout and add a little bit of sparkle to this layout that is called, uh, it is called Sparkle Ever After, which to me has a little bit of a, a wedding sort of connotation to it. However, they worked perfectly with this Halloween layout. The other thing that I am striving to do with this layout is I want to use up some of my Tuesday morning goodies. Those of you who know me know that I like to go to Tuesday morning and I like to find um, very nicely priced things and I have a lot of haul videos so if you go to my personal channel you can uh, check out those hauls and I like Halloween. I have a bit of a small problem with Halloween um, as well as Christmas and I decided that I need to use these things up. So I have made it my mission to not only include sequins on this layout but that I also want to use up some of the Pink Paisley spell cast goodies that I found recently on a haul. So I have this digital cut file that I cut out of vellum. Um, I used to design for a uh, cardstock company who also created vellum in 12 by 12 sheets and so what I did was I just put this in straight lines across my cutting mat and cut that and then I decided you'll see early in the video I decided to put it on an incline and in a little bit I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to stitch that vellum onto the black cardstock and this cardstock is actually also from Tuesday morning so I'm going upstairs I've come down and I've stitched just the very top of those spider webs onto the cardstock and the reason I leave the rest of it loose is because if you think of a spider web it's flowing and it's dynamic and so by leaving the spider web flowing and dynamic it kind of creates more movement on the page and is more realistic. I've backed the photo with that green. I felt that the green really popped the photo against the page. Um, and what I struggled with in this photo is I didn't take it. And so there was a flash used, which makes sense because they were at night. But the problem with the flash in flash photography at night is that um, the two gals that have white in their costume, they are really white and the other gals, my daughter being one of them, they're in the shadow and they're really, really dark. And so that contrast, that stark contrast between the white and the dark uh, was really, uh, it was visually disturbing to me. And so I needed to soften the white in the photo by adding more white to the layout but at the same time I didn't want it to be all white because this was at night and I wanted to kind of create a night scene so I'm going to look for embellishments in this collection that have white in them that therefore soften the white that's in the photo um, and and make it a little less visually disturbing to me so I have this circle that says trick-or-treat because that's what these ladies were doing. They were trick-or-treating and I want to pop it up off the page um, and it also gives you the illusion of a full moon and I, I just liked that kind of play on, um, I'm going to say structures uh, because that's what it is. Um, I tucked in a rose behind it and again all of these you can see uh, the Tuesday morning stickers um, labels on these these things are from my Tuesday morning shopping stash and I'm trying to get as much used as I possibly can without it looking like I just kind of threw things on the page. So you see I have that Halloween ephemera piece uh, as well as the rose it's a green, a green, orange rose with, uh, it's a white rose with orange petals is really what it is. Um, and I've tucked that behind the photo. And so you can see how by using those two white pieces, it softens that stark contrast that's in the photo there. Um, what I was messing around with with that Halloween piece of ephemera is there were a couple of pieces that say Happy Halloween. And I was trying to figure out a way to get happy with the Halloween. Um, but I didn't like the way that it looked and it's really not necessary so I just kind of kept on my way. I've taken a couple of pieces of washi and they're going to be surrounding um, that circle, the, the trick-or-treat circle as well as the picture. I actually end up covering the bits that are on the uh, left-hand side of the photo but that's okay. Um, if I wanted to I could actually go in and, and make it stick out a little bit more. Um, I just decided that it wasn't necessary. 
And I'm also going to use some of those word phrases I used, frightfully, delightful, uh, witchful thinking, and all dressed up. And I'm going to put them along the lines of those webs. Um, I just felt that the red contrast added some contrast throughout the page and uh, gave a little bit more visual interest to the page there. I'm also going to pop up this title Halloween off of that cauldron, that witch's cauldron. Um, and again, I'm looking for something I, that I want something to kind of soften that stark white, but I really don't find anything. I could have gone and gotten some inks and probably inked around that to soften it a little bit, but uh, ultimately end up being lazy and just decide that it's fine without it. You know, it's amazing to me the things that you can do in scrapbooking that uh, would add just that little extra oomph, uh, but it takes that little extra effort that sometimes, is it really necessary? Probably not. Is anybody really going to notice whether you did or didn't do it? Probably not. So don't stress about it. And now I'm going to use these thickers uh, that I got recently. So they're black glitter with an orange foam base. And uh, you can't see me putting them on there, but you'll see in the close-ups that that orange adds a really cool effect to it. And it just says 2017, and the title of this ends up being Halloween 2017. Um, I actually have also done um, another photo of my just my daughter in her costume uh, that will be coming in a video probably in about a week or two. And so... Um, there's no storytelling on this because the story is actually on the other page there. And this is where I just take a sprinkling of trios of sequins from the Happily Ever After mix. And I'm going to do my usual and use my Scotch Quick Dry, which is no longer called Squitch, Scotch Quick Dry, but Scotch Tacky Glue, and adhere that down into various spots to just add that sort of nighttime sparkle, sort of like the stars in the night sky to this layout and call that done. So if you do shop at Spiegel Mom Scraps and you use the code Susanna15, Susanna with a Z, you can get 15% off. If you do anything with these particular sequins, definitely leave me a link in the box down below because I would love to see what you do. I hope you enjoy this layout as much as I did. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave those in the box down below. I thank you for joining me and uh, I hope you have started scrapping some of your fun Halloween memories as well. If not, not, you've got something to look forward to for all of those pictures coming up at the end of the month. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. Take care.